I'm Chris Scott. Welcome to my studio where I'm going to be hosting a series of craft videos, instructional videos in cooperation with the Library Arts Center of Newport, New Hampshire. Uh, the crafting videos accompany kits that are available at the Newport Library Arts Center. If you already have your kit, that's great. We're ready to start. If you haven't got your kit, you can get one by contacting the Newport Library Arts Center in Newport, New Hampshire. Hello and welcome. We're gonna make the tissue paper hydrangea from the kit that you receive from the Newport Library Arts Center in Newport, New Hampshire. Um, in that kit, you're going to receive the instructions <clears throat> several pieces, eight pieces of colored tissue paper. It's going to be either blue or pink or white because those are the colors of hydrangeas in nature. You're also gonna get a piece of green paper. I have green paper that's white on one side because that's gonna make it easier to see as I instruct the project uh, how it's done. You're gonna get just a plain piece of green paper which will hide any little mistakes. Um, you're also gonna get floral tape and glue and <clears throat> floral wire. Two pieces, one big long piece and one shorter piece for the leaf. You're going to need to uh, provide a pencil and a pair of scissors. So let's get started. The first thing that you're going to do is accordion pleat your stack of eight pieces of tissue paper. Talks about that right here in the instructions. So I'm gonna fold and fold, fold. Some people call this a paper fan. I'll show you why in a minute. So I'm just gonna keep folding. And when I'm finished, when I open the, fan, the, uh, the accordion fold, it'll look like a fan. You can see when I turn it up toward you that there's a mountain, a valley, a mountain and a valley, a mountain and a valley, all the way across the papers. So now I'm going to cut circles, circular shapes into the ends, both sides. And you can use a pencil to make a little semicircle, or you can freehand it. I'll do both, one at each end. So I'm gonna cut this just like that. And I cut the other side into a semicircle as well. Just try and catch all of the pieces of paper. So you can see, I don't really like the way that one turned out. You can just clip it a little bit, get rid of all of this scrap paper, and I'll show you that that's what it looks like. So that is uh, the accordion fold in the first example. Now I'm going to take it and I'm going to make it so it looks like a bow tie. So here is one half of my bow tie. Here is the other half of my bow tie. And right here in the center, I'm going to put my paper down on the surface that I'm working on. And I'm going to use that to help me squish the center. So I squish the center. I'm going to take my longer piece of floral wire and I'm going to wrap that right around the center. And I'm going to twist at the end. So I have a long tail that's twisted around the center and my bow tie facing up away from that uh, long stem. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to separate the petals and I'm going to separate a few and then I'm going to separate the rest off camera. So I just want to show you that I'm, I'm gently pulling each one of these tissue paper sections, each one of those eight sections, apart from the next one. And I'm sort of pulling them toward the center. The tissue paper comes in a lot of different weights. I am using a pretty lightweight tissue paper here. The tissue paper that you receive in your kit is a good craft weight tissue paper and to make that this process easier. You have to be a little less gentle with it. It's a little tougher. So 
here we are. All right, I'm gonna do the rest of this off camera, but you can sort of see what it's starting to look like. So now that I have got all of my petals separated and plucked out, I am going to add a sepal to the bottom of this flower. And a sepal is the part of the flower that houses the bud, and then when the flower bursts into bloom, it sits right at the bottom. And what we're gonna use it for is partly to keep the two sides of the bow tie that are now made into big fluffy petals uh, together. And we're also gonna use it to cover this piece of the stem. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna mush a tiny little bit here at the bottom. Get those together, mush, mush. And I'm gonna make about six inches of floral tape. And floral tape is this great stuff. It's paper tape. It has a little bit of wax on it. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I am going to start at the bottom, half an inch or so from the base and about half an inch, half an inch from the base, there we go, of the flower. I'm gonna wrap up and make sure that I catch that kind of pointy part, pokey part that is sitting at the bottom of the flower. And I'm gonna bring it up and I'm trying to hold on to the flower a little bit. I'm gonna bring it up onto the base of the flower. And then I'm going to start taking it right back down the flower stem. Flower stem. Now we're going to cover the rest of this wire with another piece of floral tape. So I'm not worried about where this ends, uh, but it is going to help to keep my flower together. I pull and separate the pieces of the hydrangea flower. Part. Now we're going to make the leaf for the hydrangea flower. And the way that we're going to do that is by using this template. You'll have pieces of green paper. I've been using this green paper to make other leaves, but you're going to have a piece of green paper that's green on both sides. You need to make two. That's what it says here in the instructions. You need to cut two leaves out for every one leaf that you want to make. So if you're making two leaves, you'll need to cut four. I'm gonna just make one so that I can show you as an example. I'm gonna cut the template right out from the instructions. There we go. Set that to the side for right now. I'm gonna put my template right on top of two sheets of paper, and I'm going to hold them there and cut out the leaf shape. Bring my instructions back. So here is the template cut, and here are the two pieces that we cut. And I'm going to need the smaller piece of floral wire that came in your kit. And I am going to, as it is indicated in the directions, I'm gonna fold, you can see it here, I'm gonna fold along this line on these sheets. So I'm gonna take both of these sheets, I'm gonna stack them up, I'm gonna find that the tip of the leaf, and I'm gonna fold from the tip of the leaf down to the base. I have where the stem will go for my leaf. Now, the veins of the leaf can be made, and you can see I've kind of indicated where they are here. So if I fold this leaf, just to show you, if I fold this leaf the way that this leaf is folded, and then I fold like this, and back out, and like this, and back out, I'm going to wind up 
working with veins in my weave. So I'm going to do that with this one. I'm going to fold once, and press to get that fold in there, and then I'm going to fold again, and get that leaf. The veins in that leaf, there we go. You can see them when I turn it in different ways toward the light. All right, so now we're going to make a sandwich. I'm going to put glue all over my leaf, one side of my leaf. I'm going to place the stem in there, and then I'm going to put the other piece of the leaf on top to make a sandwich. I'm going to press into that glue all the way down. I could probably leave this for a few seconds to dry. In the meantime, I'm going to put some floral tape down the length of this flower. So I'm going to start where show you. I'm going to start where I stopped the last bit of floral tape, and I'm going to start, and I'm going to wind down the stem toward the base of the stem. I'm going to stop though about right here. Push that in because I'm going to add my leaf. And the nice thing about having a floral wire is that the leaf will bend for you. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do with this leaf is I'm going to cut some small V-shaped folds, uh, cuts into this leaf. This is talked about in the directions in the section on making the leaf. Hydrangeas have a serrated edge on their leaves. Serrated being like a bread knife or like a saw, the teeth on a saw. So that is what you should think about while you're making these. You're making little V-shaped cuts all the way along the edge of the leaf. And I usually make my V-shaped cuts all the way down to where this curve is on the hydrangea leaf. That looks pretty natural. I'm going to finish doing this off camera. So we made all the little serrations all the way around both sides of the hydrangea leaf. And I was saying that you can bend this leaf because of this wire stem that's inside it. So that will look very natural when you put it on your hydrangea. So the idea here is that I have got some uh, floral tape running down the wire. And when I decide where I'm gonna put my leaf, I'm gonna bend my stem out a little bit. Then I can bring this floral tape down and I can catch the piece of wire that is the stem of the leaf and I can wrap both wires into the floral tape. Wrap all the way down. And when I get to the end, I can use a little bit of glue to keep the floral tape in place. I'm not going to do all of it. So there we have a hydrangea with a big hydrangea leaf on it. I can kind of move around, show you. There we go. Seeple. Thank you so much for joining me and um, I hope you have fun making this project.